section, we're going to look at two basic types of design, observational and experimental, and make sure we're able to distinguish between the two. In an observational study, we observe and measure specific characteristics, but we do not attempt to modify the subjects that are being studied. In experimental, we're applying some treatment or other intervention, and then we proceed to observe or measure its effects on the subjects. So in experiment, we're purposefully engaging in some type of effort of intervention or change. In observation, we're simply observing what is occurring naturally. Particularly important observational studies that have led to important uh, changes in healthcare are John Hopkins University study on women's health and aging and the Baltimore Longitudinal Study of Aging. The John Hopkins study has been ongoing for the past 50 years and has women who are healthcare professionals such as nurses, physicians assistants, doctors, and any other individuals record their healthcare information in very extensive packages. Uh, my mom is actually a part of this program and every five years she gets a package asking her to complete and fill out a host of information. By collecting data from women who are healthcare professionals, this allows the researchers to be relatively certain that the data they're getting is accurate, both in terms of you're having professionals who are trained to assess it and measure it, report it, and also they understand the importance of providing accurate data for research analysis. Um, we'll be looking at research from the Baltimore Longitudinal Study later on in a future section. Experimental studies um, are such as the one that we looked at before. We have a proctored and non-proctored test. There, I'm giving an intervention. One group getting, is getting a proctored test, the other is getting a non-proctored test. I don't want to look at the difference between the two. So, let's practice applying this. Looking at number six on page 32, we have this question regarding a clinical trial of a cholesterol drug where 188 participants are given the dosage and then we find that 3.7% of them experience nausea. So, is this observational or is this experimental? Take a moment, jot it down, and then when you're ready, move on to the next slide to see the rest of the information. So, number six is in fact experimental. Here we're giving the dose of 20 milligrams of the cholesterol drug, so that is the treatment. On number eight, we read about a Coca-Cola study where they asked 12,500 people what contributes most to their happiness, and 77% of the respondents said that it was their family or their partner. Is this observational or, or experimental, and what makes it the reason for your decision? Take for a moment, jot this down, and then proceed to the next one to check your answer. This is observational. Here there's no specific treatment. We're obviously not intervening and trying to manipulate what's making them happy or manipulating their relationship with their family or partner. So in this case, it's observational. This is in fact true for most survey data that we as collected. This concludes a review of this section. Next up, we'll be looking at specific types of sample, sampling methods.